Hi guys, it's Asian Bud Tender here. We're here today to compare the Puffco and the Carta. This video is not sponsored whatsoever. I just managed to get these two wonderful electronic rigs, electronic dab rigs, and decided to do a comparison. So here we are. Let's talk about the differences in the accessories and the unit itself first. Let's talk about these glass tops. This is like $35. If you break this, you replace it for 35, 40 bucks maybe. This cone that doesn't even come with a splash guard, you, it's, not, it's $120. So that's already a huge difference. $35 glass, $120 glass. I believe the Puffco Peak Tops are hand-blown though. That's what makes the huge price difference. Hand-blown glass versus machine-made, maybe Chinese glass or even machine-made glass. However, in the quality between both, you don't really see much difference. They both feel great, they both feel sturdy. So that price difference is quite huge. Let's talk about the accessories. So the Carta comes with a dabbing tool that they include. This wonderful dabbing tool. The Puffco comes with a great dabbing tool too. It comes with everything you need. The Carta, they introduce Q-tips, alcohol swabs, and other small accessories that comes great with it. A travel pouch. The Puffco, all you get is this and the atomizer. Uh, let's see here. The travel pack that comes with the Puffco, you have to buy separately, which I have no idea why they didn't include. The splash guard makes a huge difference. Every time you, you get water. But with the splash guard, it makes the world a difference. I have no idea why they didn't include it before. So that's it for the unit itself. For the accessories, for the Puffco's and the Carta, the unit feels different in itself. With the Puffco, the whole thing is silicone. And it feels sturdy. It feels, it feels like it's well built. It feels like if you drop this, it will survive the fall. With the Carta, some parts of it are made out of silicone and the rest feels like it's made out of like 3D printed plastic. So it feels, you know, a little cheap, but of course, there's a giant price difference between Puffco and the Carta. Puffco's run anywhere between $360 to $400. The Carta runs for $250 on Focus Fee Products website. And that's almost a half price difference. Which explains a lot, hence the plastic. Cleaning the unit itself, let's get into that now. With the Puffco, since it's, all sil it's mostly silicone, it's very easy to clean. Just soak it in alcohol. I feel like I won't even hurt the unit if I spill a little bit of alcohol. Just turn it off, leave it powered down, clean it as well as you can. The Carta, you can see right here, the plastic, it's got a little bit of uh, like a film to it, something. So you can see right here that it's coming off. I've only had this Carta for about two weeks now just to get extensive use out of it and experience it and after some cleaning I noticed that this vinyl or whatever this wrap is is starting to peel off a little bit I'm not upset I only I don't really care how a unit looks as long as it works good and it's yeah as long as it works well so that's just a minor little minor inconvenience but nothing that'll change the unit in itself now let's talk about how easy it is to clean it. So, you can see here, let's get some better light. You can see right here with the Carta. You can see that the atomizer goes straight in this hole. And you see that hole right there? That's where you get your vapors from. So that means 
that when you're smoking this, all the reclaim just falls straight in this tiny ass little hole. And if you don't stay on top of your carta like I don't, because all I do is like to dab and not worry about it. If you leave this thing alone after quite a few dabs, it will get clogged easily and you're gonna have a rough time cleaning it. Some people have told me, oh, just blow into the unit. I was like, yeah, you can blow into the unit and take out all the reclaim out into this little pocket here only while it's warm. I never think about doing that while I'm high because obviously I'm super stoned. I'm not gonna do it while it's warm. So the next morning when I'm trying to dab out of this, it's clogged because I let it sit overnight, got cold, and now I have to spend a lot, a lot of time cleaning this. It's a little rough time cleaning it. A Q-tip does not fit in here, so you either have to thin it out and shove it in, soak it in some isopropyl alcohol and hope for the best, and it takes quite a few minutes. The Puffco, you can see it's a flat dish basin, and it's got a huge wide opening so the chances of it clogging is very difficult and it's got a little bit of a raised that raised level right there so even if it collects you still got a little bit of time before this whole hole is covered and even if this hole is about to be covered they have a dip you can see right here it's a little bit of a dip so the reclaim gets pushed out into the back of the puffco so you can literally sit on the Puffco, puffing on it for the long, longest time, and it's gonna take you a while before it's fully clogged. I've smoked out my Puffco for a month straight, and that's when I finally had to clean it out. All right, let's talk about the Carta atomizer. Carta and the Peak atomizers. Here, you can see the ceramic plate difference between the Carta and the Puffco. One is significantly wider than the other, and one is significantly thicker than the other. You guys see that? You guys see that difference? This is the Puffco's ceramic plate. It's much wider much thicker than the Carta. So as soon as I got the Carta, I've been having nothing but atomizer issues. Same thing with the Puffco too though. I went through four atomizers in the first month with my Puffco, and I went through three atomizers in my first month with the Carta. Carta was very, very kind enough to send me this wonderful Everlast atomizer. The Everlast Atomizer has a titanium plate and has a lifetime warranty. Supposedly, never supposed to break. You can see with the Puffco's Atomizer, this is very standard with this. Silicone sleeve with a ceramic ring ceramic base very standard and then the titanium plate in the everlast atomizer so that is one cool thing about the carta they do have a titanium plated atomizer that is, has a lifetime warranty this is their new upgraded atomizer their old one which uses the ceramic plate doesn't have the longest shelf life if you don't take care of your Carta super well like I do. However, I've got the Puffco repair kit. Thank you to Mr. Bonsai. Go check out Mr. Bonsai's website. Mr. Bonsai, like the tree, he hooked me up with this wonderful repair kit. And ever since I got the repair kit for the Puffco, all my atomizers work wonderfully for every Puffco unit. All right, so, so far we talked about the accessories, the atomizer, the cleaning process. Let's talk about the battery life. You can see right now, 
I'm charging my card, my puff coat. Excuse me, I'm charging my puff coat. My carta, I have an extra pair of batteries. So whenever my carta dies, I swap out the battery, and let these old ones charge. And boom, it's ready to go. Personally, with a battery life, I've noticed the Puffco lasts slightly longer than the Carta. But when the battery dies, I gotta let my Puffco charge, and I cannot use the unit while it's charging because it can damage the battery. Here's the cool thing about the Focus V product Carta you can charge this unit and use, take dabs out of it while it's charging. Super duper cool. Focus V said it won't damage the battery. It shouldn't damage the battery. They got some chip in here that'll bypass the charge. It's not gonna damage the battery. Pretty ingenious. You can fine tune the temperature using your phone. Apple users will have a tough time. It's not available in the Apple store, in the app store for Apple users. So they're gonna have to go into their website, jailbreak the, jailbreak the app, download it manually into their phone or whatever app they want or whatever Apple unit they want to use. You can fine tune the temperature using your phone. You can activate this unit using your phone and it tells you how many dabs you have taken with this current atomizer you've been using, which is amazing to me. Uh, that's it with the battery life. Should we take some dabs out of this and see how well they milk? So, pretty sure my puff coat is charged enough. So in order to turn on the puff coat, there's a button here in the front. You just push, hold on to the button. Oh, also a reminder. This tether does not come with a puff coat. This tether comes with all this travel pack. That's what they call it. So in order to get, you just get the base unit. In order to get all this, you have to purchase the travel pack with it. So, yeah, yeah, they, they get their money out of us. For the Carta, everything's included, except their repair kit, unless you buy the complete Carta kit. Let's do some dabs out of this now and compare, see how they are. I got this wonderful lemon butter from Refine. We're gonna be dabbing. I will put, I'll do my best to put the same amount of oil in each unit. So this, oops, spilt a little bit. Get this in the carta. Get this. So I put about the same amount of oil in each. We're mostly gonna look at how long it takes to heat up because I don't believe this is fair for both units. With the Carta, I have the Everlast atomizer in with a quartz bucket. However, with the Puffco, Fate Space Official hooked me up with this wonderful silicone carbide insert for my Puffco. So right now, I've been dabbing nothing nothing else except out of my puff coat. That silicone carbide insert changes the whole thing. Even heat distribution throughout the whole insert, less heat reduction being pulled out from the, from the insert because of the oil, and it changes the whole flavor and everything. So I've been mainly been puffing out of my puff coat, but if I have some friends over and whatnot, I bust out the carter so we can take some dabs in less than 20 seconds. So the Carta, I mean the Puff goes on. It's the second to the low setting. Let's do the same thing for the Carta. Two, three, four, five, it is on. We're gonna turn it on at the same time. So you can see both are going. Cap both of them. And the Carta's already done warming up, already green. Puffco's still warming up. Ah, Puffco's done now. 